I want to get William Benning's take today, former technical leader for the intelligence with the National Security Agency, the developer of many of the systems we see in use today, according to major defense publications, probably one of the greatest uh, code breakers ever, not just living. Uh, but uh, I want to get his take on China just launched the most frightening game ever, and it will be mandatory. We've talked about this some, but now it's official. They're going to force everyone in the next four years in China to adopt it. It goes online next year. All your purchases, what you do, what you say about the government will be put into a social credit score. You won't be able to get hotels, won't be able to travel, won't be able to leave the country if you haven't been a good party member or if you haven't towed the party line. This is the mark of the beast. Even if you don't believe in God, the devil, whatever, they're using it as an owner's manual. Where all your data goes in, and this is what Zuckerberg's been meeting with the head of the Chinese Censorship Bureau who set up this infrastructure. This is the model. And it's incredibly dangerous. It's over the top. Uh, we've got all these omnibus bills and surveillance bills being rammed through, always happening around the Christmas season when people are distracted. There's so much to discuss with William Benny. He's the former technical leader for intelligence with the NSA before becoming a whistleblower in late 2001 privately to Congress. Nothing was done. After more than 30 years with the agency, Benny has been described as one of the best analysts and code breakers in NSA history. Benny continues to speak out about the NSA's data collection policies and continues interviews in the media regarding his experiences. And they got the new big movie coming out, of course, that Oliver Stone's putting out that has a big character playing the part of William Benny in it. He's testified in an affidavit that the NSA is a deliberate violation of the U.S. Constitution. ExposedFacts.org has uh, a lot of his writings. He, of course, has physically come and you know, been interviewed by us here. And it's important to understand he's made the statement, this is about total social control of the general public, not about protecting us from terrorists. Notice they let the Syrian refugees in, who are really mainly Sunni invaders, homesteaders, pilgrims, trying to come in and take over Syria out of Saudi Arabia, other countries. That's admitted, 80% 80, 80 the Pentagon admits, 80% roughly, the, the EU says that as well, fake passports, you name it. Large percentages are jihadis are now being brought in, clearly. So when they attack, they'll say it's not Muslim terror, but we got to take your guns, we got to restrict your rights, we got to reauthorize all the NSA spying, we've got to expand it. So this is what we're dealing with. They're not protecting us. 14 years after 9 11, Al Qaeda has turned into the giant ISIS organization with hundreds of thousands. How is that? With Hillary Clinton and others openly funding them with the weapons. It's clear. Saudi Arabia gets to take over the Middle East with its fighters. They play along with their anti-American, hit a few targets, wind up some of their operatives who don't know what they're doing to attack us. And then Western governments can set up totalitarianism. And it came out a few months ago in NSA uh, reports, and, and, and it's also come out, CIA has admitted it. ISIS puts out in their official magazine that we're not CIA, we're not working with the West. Don't listen to that. And that's the one thing hurting their recruitment is that young Muslims can't be wound up by them to go up and shoot up and blow stuff up because they're understanding this is meant to cause a clash of civilizations and more invasions of the Middle East to knock out countries like Syria that aren't against the United States. Just like Saudi Arabia is involved attacking us on 9-11, that's now in the 28 pages, we know that, and we attack Iraq. So there's such an awakening, this is incredible. Now, what I wanted to bring up to William Benny was a new book called Military to Military that the London Review of Books covered yesterday, as well as the New Yorker magazine, where Cy Hurst, the two-time Pulitzer Prize winner, breaks down what we already know from Colonel Schaefer and our other contacts that we broke three and a half, four years ago with Benghazi. I'm just setting the table here with William Benny. He'll be with us for the rest of the hour. That our own military, from majors, captains, master sergeants, you name it, on up to two-star generals, like the former head of defense intelligence, Michael Flynn, coming out and saying, we are ordered to create this ISIS group and to fund them. This is a willful plan, and I don't know why they're doing it. Well, it's so they can take American freedoms and European freedoms away. But we have a lot of top generals now that have just quit or been fired going public. So there is what I would call a soft counter coup. Not a coup by the military, which I don't support. Very dangerous. Normally goes bad but a literal soft coup, and it's coming out in the news, but then getting spun. 
So William Benny spent years testifying secretly to Congress behind closed doors, and he was rewarded with a SWAT team raid while he was in the shower. They waited till that to drag him around naked in his house. That's what they do to demoralize you. Went for testifying to Congress as the former technical director, I and mean, that's the guy running the actual show. Because he exposed they could have stopped Al-Qaeda, they could have, all of it. And they tried to set him up, they tried to set up Drake and others. I mean, guys, this is a true hero. And he doesn't want to be called that. We need to recognize who the heroes are. It's not people putting basketballs in hoops or people, you know, hitting golf balls and hole-on-ones. It's people that stand up for what's right and really try to protect this country as well. Now, I'm done with my five-minute preface, Mr. Benny. Uh, I've, I've set a lot of stuff out there, the latest bills, the legislation, all of it. But just to go from 10 years ago, them denying there was any illegal NSA spying, to now admitting it all and trying to codify it in law and then admitting it's being used against Congress and political enemies, and now they want to merge with China with a system that socially tracks everything you do to not let you buy or sell or live a digital black ball that I warned of 20 years ago. I mean, this is unprecedented, the conscious evil nature of this, sir. You can start anywhere you wish. I appreciate you joining us. Well, thanks for having me, Alex. Uh, um, I'm glad to be back with you. Uh, <laughs> yes, you've, you've said an awful lot there. I mean... I guess the the real point is that uh, uh, the intelligence agencies of the world are kind of banding together to do this kind of mo monitoring of everybody on the planet, and it's spreading. Uh, and they're using different. They're lying to the public and giving and giving them disinformation about, uh, for example, the latest lies are about the uh, they couldn't stop Paris or San Bernardino because they were encrypting. Well. Uh, when the evidence comes out, you find out that that's just another lie. It's another disinformation uh, uh, program where they want people to believe it's one thing when, in fact, it's another. Uh, <clears throat> so their whole objective there is to get rid of encryption or be able to be able to read into any encryption on the network anywhere. And that's what they're trying to use to justify it. Uh, but, but again, the real problem is their bulk acquisition of data. That's always been the problem, and, and it continues to be. Even internally in NSA and the various agencies, they're telling them, we're, we're overpowered by overload, and we're, we're in analysis paralysis because we can't focus because of all the massive amounts Which of Which is data. what the dark actors really want. This is the fog <clears throat> for what I would liken to specter, these global corporations, to just take over. Yeah, that's right. And it, what it really does is it gives them all that power, having all that knowledge. Then they now know how or who they have to deal with in their, in their societies to be able to, to control the outcomes. That's really what, what, what I've been saying uh, for several years is that their whole idea is population control. And in order to do that, you have to have knowledge about the population, and that's what this is giving them. What an amazing statement by you, the former technical director of the NSA, that global intelligence agencies, I guess other than Russia, are merging right now. <laughs> And Zuckerberg and others admit we're going with the Chinese model because they can beta test illegal stuff on a mass scale. Can you speak directly to China's systems of control, feeding all the data in and saying, if you say something bad about the party, we're going to phase it in where you can't buy or sell? I mean, this is the ultimate nightmare in my view. Yeah, I think it's uh, taking off a bit on the model that's already been built between, for example, the industry and the U.S., the NSA, CIA, FBI, primarily. Um, those are the ones who are involved in setting it up internally in the U.S., and that's now the model they're going to try to export to China. I guess it sounds like they're, very, they're going to be trying different things on top of that model to see if they can expand on it or improve it. Basically a security clearance to live. A security clearance to even be able to function and have a job, even in the private sector. I mean, this is beyond Hitler's best dreams, isn't it, sir? Oh, it's well beyond all, uh, Orwell's in 1984, too. I mean, it's just uh, it's just total. It's it's getting into not only the things that you're doing and who you're working with and who you do those things with, but also what you're thinking. And that's really uh, that's really where this is heading. And then openly blackmailing you to submit and do everything you're told, <laughs> or they will lower your social score so you can't operate in society and can't travel. Yeah, and if they if they can't get to you, they'll get to somebody you care about, just like the KGB did. So it's no different than that. And they admit it's going to be a no-fly list just because your score is low. No judge, no jury, just a big algorithm. Now you can't travel. And, and, and so many high-powered people I've talked to have been openly told now.
this is coming here. You better get in line. And they're rolling over, Mr. Benny. Don't they know that will ensure the totalitarian takeover? <laughs> uh, well, I think that that's basically what they're all aiming for. I mean, that's really the, the underlying, uh, the underlying uh, effort that they're aiming at. That's what they want to achieve. Good God. Well, sir, I'm, I'm, I'm here just very emotional about this because I, I scan it every day. You're the true expert on it. You, you've got the floor of the next 10 minutes. What's most important? What should people know with the highest level NSA whistleblower of all time here with us on air? Uh, <clears throat> well, I, I, the, the, the point is that, that everything coming out of the government is distorted uh, in one form or another, not really coming and being honest with anybody in, in the public anymore. You can't trust them at all. And you cannot, even the government, inside the government, they can't even trust what the intelligence agencies are telling them or, on, or what their law enforcement agencies are telling them anymore. They can't, they're distorting what, what's being presented in the courts of law. I mean, they're, they're just destroying all our founding principles. And I've been basically on, on uh, television saying that this is basically treason against the founding principles of this nation. And, uh, you know, I, I, we as people have to stop and say we, we're not going to tolerate this anymore. And if they and if they can't, if they don't start subscribing to getting back to uh, uh, the principles of, uh, of under under the Constitution of, of personal rights by individuals, uh, then then I think we need to fire everyone that's in, involved in that. Uh, and, and I would argue we need to fire everyone in D.C. right now because they have no common sense about how things are proceeding. They don't seem to understand the consequences of the things they're doing. I mean, it just seems that they're they're they believe uh, for one reason or other, and I think it's because they're being bamboozled by the intelligence people uh, that they have to do these things, or else every, the the you know, the sky's going to fall, right? When in fact that's just an outright lie, and it's a distortion to try to manipulate people to do what they want, and they're falling for it. Well, sir, all of our politicians are falling for it. Sir, your record was impeccable. You know, you were holding the rank of a general at the NSA. They didn't. They knew to not come and directly try to buy you off or threaten you because they knew you had such integrity. That's why you were there from a, kind of an old guard system that was more based on that. Um, with people in Congress and in the general public who are more modern and more decadent, they point blank either offer to buy them off or threaten them. I mean, I'm talking to more and more prominent people where, I mean, I'm sure you saw last year when they legalized CIA propaganda domestically and quote the CIA and the Pentagon engaging uh, in 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 social operations domestically they're actually sending cia you name it people into businesses into companies even at the mid-level now and basically th either offering them stuff or threatening them to go along with this takeover sir this is the equivalent i'm sure you're familiar with how the germans for five years quietly infiltrated uh france and got the top general staff to stand down uh, the Blitzkrieg was a joke. It really didn't even fight the French. They, they fought the British Expeditionary Force, pushed them to Dunkirk. And I liken this to a infiltration operation uh, where they've actually, this foreign globalist coup, this corporate coup, has already, I know I said I'm giving you the floor and I'm jumping in here, I want you to comment on this, has already come in and basically infiltrated and taken over. They just don't come and tell you something like that because they know how much integrity you have. Yeah, well, it's it's getting back to the idea of you know how many people can you manipulate and coerce or uh, and uh, force in one form or another by blackmail or any other means um, to do the things you're that you want done. I mean that's basically what's going on. I mean and it seemed to it just it just to me uh, I just can't envision that my country ever going this route. I mean I could never have thought that this would ever happen here. But it has, you know, you can't go around saying things like this cannot happen here, like in the in the 30s when when the um, Nazis took over, or when the communists took over or whenever, you know, all these different uh, power struggles have gone down through history. I mean, it can happen here. That's the whole point. And if we aren't vigilant, I mean, I keep saying democracy is not a, a spectator sport. You have to participate. You've got to get out there and keep the fight to keep it. I mean, this is something that people... People try to, down through history, um, sure. full of regimes that have tried to do this, just take the power away from the people and consolidate it and become uh, the, the kind of dictator or despot that controls everything. I mean, that's just really what's going on. This is our struggle. It has never changed down through history. Absolutely. And, sir, look at 
the fact that a lot of dictators were bad, but they just wanted to control everything. Some of them were egomaniacs and actually built big things, started universities, did some good. I mean, I'm not endorsing dictatorship, but this dictatorship 